Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist. I just got back from Japan and I brought back way too much skincare. Some of these things you might recognize. Senka Perfect Whip, I hear is really popular. We got some serums and more serums. We're gonna go through this in another video, but when I was on my travels, I brought a few cute little sizes of CeraVe's new hydrating sheer sunscreen. This is their new hybrid sunscreen. I'm gonna review it today. And you can tell that there's subtle differences between the new hydrating sheer sunscreen to the hydrating mineral sunscreen. So the hydrating mineral sunscreen, we mentioned in the other video, it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide and kind of leaves me with a pretty significant white cast. So it was never like a favorite of mine. I love the brand CeraVe, but I've always gravitated to the sheer tint more regularly. Now we have a hybrid. We got the best of both worlds. We got the lightweight texture of chemical UV filters. Plus we have the great benefits from zinc oxide, which is a great UVA one and two and UVB blocker. So this has zinc oxide, but it has three other chemical UV filters. And just looking at the box, looks pretty similar, but the color blue different. And it says face and body for this. Size is also different. This is three fluid ounces versus their standard 2.5 fluid ounce. You want more if you're gonna be covering your face and body. And I like having something that's very lightweight when it comes to the body, so it spreads easily. You know, same for like acne medications that are topical. I want things that are like really lightweight and you can spread easily. Now, I don't want you guys worrying about about sunscreens in general. You know, I don't like to demonize chemical UV filters. If you feel more comfortable doing a mineral inorganic UV filter, whether it's zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, go for it. But with that said, I do use chemical UV filters for myself and I actually like hybrid sunscreens a lot. The classic one being Elta MD UV Clear. That one has zinc oxide and octanoxate. The more recent one that came out, Elta MD UV Sheer, is zinc oxide with octocrylene. So another hybrid sunscreen, great stuff. You get the best of both worlds. You get this nice finish. It's very lightweight. It doesn't clog your pores. It doesn't feel heavy on your face. It doesn't leave your face with a white cast. So I was really excited to see CeraVe making their SPF 30 into a hybrid form. The three other UV filters you will see in this would be homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene. Now, as you guys know, octanoxate and oxybenzone, those ingredients have been banned in Hawaii for sale. In terms of you can't have sunscreens for sale in Hawaii with those two UV chemical UV filters or organic UV filters. This does not have that. It's homosalate, octosalate, octocrylene, and zinc oxide. This is water resistant 80 minutes. This summer, if you're gonna be playing out in the pool, going for a run, going to the beach, you should be reapplying this. Even if it says water resistant and you're still playing in the water getting sweaty you should still be reapplying every 80 minutes the spf 30 hydrating mineral sunscreen is not water resistant so just keep that in mind this one is water resistant and face and body is meant for it has of course it's three essential ceramides and one of our favorite ingredients niacinamide in it or vitamin b3 this is great for regulating sebum production soothing the skin being anti-inflammatory great for those with acne prone skin or rosacea prone skin you see this in other sunscreens like elta md uv clear let's open this bad boy up i got a full size which is great because i was using the small little sample sizes on my trip to japan look how cute this bottle is great to throw in your beach bag a little bit maybe bulky to put in your carry-on TSA Ziploc bag. You see your dermatologist, like myself, ask us for sunscreen samples to put in your care. And we're, I'm always happy to provide samples. It's so convenient to travel with, you know, a nice little cleanser, a nice little moisturizer, and of course your sunscreen. So always shake up your sunscreen well, especially since this one sounds very lightweight and a little liquidy. Disperse the UV filters in it very well, evenly spread it out, squirting it out. How lightweight that comes out. So very good, great start. You want something lightweight if you're gonna be applying it to body, your shoulders, for example, you want it to spread very nicely. Now for sunscreen on your face, the appropriate amount, half a teaspoon amount to cover your ears, your face and your neck. If you're gonna be covering your whole body, you're gonna be using a shot glass worth. So that's like one fluid ounce, which is a lot. That's like a third of this. So that, and if you're gonna reapply, you know, you, you should be reapplying every 80 minutes with this technically. So you want something affordable when it comes to your body. If you wanna use this just for your body and use something more expensive, like say Elta MD, La Roche-Posay, Isden, those are much more expensive. You can use that for your face because that has more of the antioxidants. This if you want to just use this for your body, go right ahead because we have affordability. 
you got a good amount in here but you might if you are covering your whole body head to toe at the beach then you might burn through all sunscreens fairly quickly including this one this one not having any crazy antioxidants it has a ceramides which are great for rebuilding repairing your skin barrier imagine your skin barrier being a brick wall with little lipid pockets in between the bricks which is the mortar that holds their bricks together and when you talk about ceramides ceramides is the, is the glue that those little lipid pockets between the bricks. And so CeraVe has these skin identical ceramides that really fit into those little pockets if it's depleted of ceramides. Now let's put this on my face. This, I wanna show you guys how this looks. Let's just put a small amount here. Like wait. Now me being skin type three, it's really important to find something that doesn't give me a white cast because it can get kind of obvious if it's too thick on my skin tone. And it gets a little distracting where even my medical assistants are like, you got some weird sunscreen on your face. So that's just a small amount, right? We got to put a lot more to put on our entire face, but I'm really just trying to layer this on to show you that this does not give me a significant white cast, which is amazing. And I like that it gives me a little bit of a dewy glow. Now I'm really layering this on, probably more than a normal person would, but that's three layers of sunscreen on right there. And I say this is a huge improvement from the mineral only. But then again, if you wanna really avoid chemical UV filters at all costs, you could stick with the zinc only but I'll do another video just comparing the two. But I say this is great. I think it's good to see more hybrid sunscreens. I think it's great to spread awareness that we shouldn't be demonizing UV filters that have our chemical base because you know, you go to Europe, some of the best sunscreens are chemical based. They have more UV filters available to them that we don't have. Our FDA will not approve it of any in the near future. And so they have more UV filters, same for Asia. They have some really good UV filters. They're all chemical based. And so I think it's good for us to have this discussion. People will talk about what are reef safe sunscreens. If you talk to dermatologists, we look at the data first, right? Evidence based. And the laboratory studies that show that these certain UV filters cause bleaching of the coral reefs. That's them pumping a lot of sunscreen, a lot of these UV filters in a laboratory setting at high, high, high concentrations. In the real world setting, are we having enough sunscreen coming off of the swimmer's bodies onto the coral reefs, you know, leading to bleaching? I'm not sure. So real world applications versus laboratory settings, that's always what doctors are, at, are questioning. Look at the data and is this applicable to real life settings? So I don't really like to use that term reef safe. I think these videos are not just talking about affordable skincare, new products, but just having a discussion about sunscreens in general. And so what does Dr. Sagai think about this sunscreen? I, I like the ingredients. You got the ceramides, niacinamide in a good size. It's affordable. I'll put the price down below. It is lightweight. It's great to spread on the body. It's giving me a nice little dewy finish there. Very little white cast after doing three little layers on this side of my face. And if you guys have tried this, let me know. I really do like this little shine there. So I'm gonna give this an 8.5 out of 10. Great summer pick. I have no sting whatsoever on my face. Let me put some on my eyelid. My eyelids have been a little bit sensitive since coming back from Japan because you expose yourself to uh, different climates and you can throw your skin off, but no sting whatsoever. I like that it's water resistant because I'm going to be working out this summer. I'm going to be taking runs outside in Seattle finally. And so I'm going to definitely use this one quite a bit. And I like that I'm getting good UVA and UVB coverage because the main goal is to protect our skin from skin cancer and DNA mutations leading to skin cancer cancer and also UVA induced photo aging. UVA can really mess with our skin, diminishing our collagen, leading to sagginess, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, hypopigmentation, redness, worsening in your rosacea. So definitely find a sunscreen that works for you. If you want to go for something with more antioxidants because you want to work on more of the anti-aging game. Uh, La Roche-Posay, for example, has antioxidants in their sunscreen. So if you wanna go for that, change things up a bit. But if you wanna just go for affordable skincare, trust the brand, this one's good. So Dr. Sugai gives this four to four and a half shakas. So please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. Please share with your friends who are into sunscreen or looking for a new sunscreen this summer. And I hope you guys all have a nice, safe summer. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.